If you want to see a really short eye-opening documentary on why some people collect reborn dolls, then stay watching. There are a variety of reasons, such as emotional, personal or artistic reasons. However, some people purchase them as a form of therapy and this is exactly what you're about to watch. It is so wonderful. lalki Reborn, czyli można powiedzieć substytuty dzieci. Coś, co z kawałka winylu przeraz, przeradza się w lale przypominającą do złudzenia prawdziwe niemowlę. Myślę, że tutaj diabeł tkwi w szczegółach, czyli każda żyłka, naczynko, wybroczynki, wszystko coś, co nie jest takie oczywiste, lalkowe, płaskie, to jest mile widziane u takiej lalki, bo zbliżają właśnie do realizmu, do porównania z prawdziwym małym człowieczkiem. Powody posiadania tych lalek są przeróżne. E, tak naprawdę od kolekcjonerek poprzez służby ratownictwa medycznego, e, szkoły położnicze, ale też aż po zadania terapeutyczne, czyli dla kobiet, które cierpią na różnego rodzaju nerwice, e, depresję lub są po stracie dziecka lub po poronieniu. No, mamy ogromną potrzebę przytulania czy bycia przytulano. Myślę, że taka lalka może być dobrą formą jakby pracy z traumą pod jednym warunkiem. Pod takim, że no, te lalki nie zastępują nam realnego życia. Trzy lata temu byłam w ciąży. Było to na krótko przed moim ślubem. Niestety po no, jakiś, no nie wiem, sześciu tygodniach od tego radosnego wydarzenia poroniłam i Długo nie mogłam się pozbierać. Chodziłam do psychologa, chodziłam do psychiatry, brałam różne leki, ale tak nic to nie znaczy nic. Jak y, lalka przyszła i już otrząsnęłam się z szoku, że wygląda jak żywa. Był tak do bólu identyczny jak niemowlę. Mam wrażenie, że jakby patrzyłam na lalkę, a w głowie miałam to dziecko, które się nie narodziło, więc no, bardzo różne emocje wywoływała ta lalka, nie zawsze pozytywne. I wprowadziłam sobie właśnie taką rutynę później, że zajmowałam się nim jak prawdziwym dzieckiem, że go przebierałam. Minęło kilka miesięcy i w zasadzie powoli odchodziłam od tych zwykłych czynności, które do tej pory robiłam regularnie. Nagle już tak zdarzyło mi się na przykład yy, nie przebrać kilka dni lali, czy już tak nie nosiłam jej często na rękach. Po prostu jakby zaczynam odczuwać, że nie jest mi to już potrzebne. Dlatego stwierdziłam, że sprzedam lale i niech komuś pomoże. Ja na co dzień już o tym nie myślę, że poroniłam. Udało mi się no, nie zapomnieć, w sensie wyprzeć to z, z głowy, ale nie wracać do tego. Często klientki i opisują mi swoje historie życia i często bardzo traumatyczne i od razu jak gdyby znam powód, dla którego tworzę lalkę i to mi też bardzo pomaga przy pracy, bo ja odpowiednio też skupiam się i odpowiednie emocje jakby wkładam w tą, w tą lalkę. Także lalka pomogła już, także spełniła swoje zadanie, że bardzo mi dziękują. Hi everybody, Isabella is here and I'm going to be changing her out of this vintage smock dress and those little hands you can see popping over the bassinet are her big sister Madeline and she's helping me change her. So I wanted to go over the documentary, what did you guys think? If you really liked it, give me a thumbs up and if it resonated with you as well, give me a thumbs up. This documentary really highlights the importance of what reborn dolls do mean to certain people in this world. Did you see the woman on the documentary who had had a miscarriage and was going through maybe a deep depression afterwards and even medication could not lift her out of the feeling 
and then she got a reborn doll and within two months she felt totally healed she felt that she could sell the doll and she could move on from the pain and the grief that she was suffering I'm not quite sure if the artists of reborn dolls understand their full importance in making the baby and how much of a deep impact that that can have on somebody when they receive that special little someone in their life. I think this documentary also uh, accidentally highlights the importance of keeping the doll industry alive and getting rid of the counterfeit dolls because we want the sculptors to be able to keep sculpting and we don't want the counterfeits to take over. We want the artists to still be able to reborn genuine beautiful sculpts and it's so so important and I think this video, this documentary has accidentally inadvertently highlighted that reason. I had no idea in Poland it has a really high rate of infertility and that the reborn dolls in Poland are really quite popular amongst women that have not been able to have children. I thought it was really beautiful how the lady in the documentary was treating her reborn little boy like he was real and she was waking up and doing routines with him as if he was real. Of course these dolls are also used to treat anxiety and depression on maybe a longer term basis. They're also used for patients that are suffering with Alzheimer's and other ailments of the brain and they have been proven in scientific studies to really help with these people. I think that that is really wonderful and um, beautiful that these dolls can help so many people not just us reborn mummies like role playing with them and cuddling them and changing them but also more on a deeper connected level. I guess that's why I chose Isabella and her big sister here Madeline for this video. To me out of all the dolls in my collection these two uh, and Maya actually do feel like the most realistic dolls in my collection. And because this documentary is focusing on the realism of reborn dolls, I wanted to bring these two on. Who are the most realistic dolls for you out of your collection? Please mention it in the comments below and I'll take a look on your channel. I'm wondering if you guys picked up on the title of that documentary. The title was Mummy's Reborn. Have a think about it. Mummy's reborn I just thought that was such a um, deep and impactful title for that video and little sweet Isabella pop your head there she's so cute oh my gosh look at her so mummies reborn I meaning that there are a lot of mummies out there that have been able to be reborn in the sense of their anxiety or their depression or their loss of a child that's brought on a lot of other things and feelings and through nursing and holding and loving and caring and role playing and doing routines with a reborn that's hyper realistic they have been able to be reborn they've, able, they've been able to find themselves again and they haven't needed medication or anything else they've just needed the cuddle and the love of a reborn doll. That is the biggest eye opener that I got from this whole documentary. The title meant so much along with that lady's story because she's a true testimony to the title of this documentary, Mummy's Reborn. But I just thought that was amazing guys and um, it's something that I've taken to heart now because I do uh, reborn dolls and I do try and do I have started to try and do a little bit more artistic work on them but I am only just starting off on reborning it's not like I've been doing it for 20 years I've only been doing it for a couple of years now and I don't do it all the time because I do work full time so but I absolutely love reborning them and when you put the doll together and it's finally a baby and you pick it up and you dress it and you nurse it it does give your heart 
is such a fulfillment. Um, it's not just about making it all and putting it aside and selling it. It still gives you that fulfillment. So I know when people unbox a baby, the fulfillment that they get, because I get that feeling. Um, so I can't imagine um, a woman in the world who's lost a baby through a miscarriage or through other means and then they get one of these babies and it's able to heal them and reborn them. I just think that's magical, isn't it, guys? So to all of you artists out there that reborn babies, you guys are just wonderful. Just wonderful. And you're doing such an amazing thing in the world. You are giving back to so many people and giving them their life back. Honestly, it's such a big thing. I don't think a lot of us have ever really taken a good look at the fact that how um, wonderful the reborn artists are in this world. But I look forward to watching your comments. I thank you guys for watching today. I look forward to reading your comments, I should say, and replying and coming on your channels. Have a great weekend. Bye guys.